Hi, I'm Alex Kirk and I'd like to show you my WordPress plugin for decentralized social networking called Friends. This is my blog. I don't post that much publicly, but actually there's more to it. Let me log in to show you. I actually publish quite a bit, just privately. For example, I've posted about this video from Matt Malenweg. Let's visit his site. I'd like to become friends with Matt so that he can see my private posts. So let's add him as a friend. This takes me back to the admin area of my site. I can send a friend request from here. So the friend request was sent, and he was already added to my friends page. Let's go there. On the friends and request page, you can now see my pending friend request for matt.blog. Let's do some magic now and pretend we are Matt. I'll switch over to this red browser window. As you can see, I'm logged into matt.blog as Matt. Over here, there's a friend request waiting for me. Let's review it. So, akirk.blog wants to become friends with me. Let's check out the site first. Alright, let's become friends. So back to the friends page and let's accept the friend request. As you can now see, the role of akirk.blog has changed to friend. So when I now go to my friends page, I can actually see his private posts here. I can actually go to the post on Alex's site and will be logged in as matt.blog. Let's go ahead and post a comment. So back to my own browser. Let's refresh the page. As you can see, the pending friend request has now changed to friend. By the way, this also works in the WordPress app, since it all uses standard functionality like users and user roles. Here in the comment section, you can see Matt's comment. And on my friends page, my posts are shown alongside his posts. That's actually only the start. I can also add subscriptions. Let's go to the friend requests page once again. This time I'll enter a site I'd like to follow, the WordPress Tavern. You can see it tells us that there is no friends plugin installed at wptavern.com, but I now have a subscription for it. Let's check out the friends page to see how the posts look there. Going back to the friends and request page, you can now see my friend Matt and my subscription for the WordPress Tavern. One nice thing about subscriptions is that you can get an email for new posts. You can also specify rules for incoming content. Let's say I'm not interested in the podcast episodes. I can simply exclude them by removing feed items that contain WP Weekly. Let's take a quick look at settings. Here you can change email notifications, set the default role for accepted friend requests, and access OPML and RSS feeds. Let's now take a look at how to post to just your friends. Let's create a new post. You'd enter your title and text. By the way, you can specify visibility for each Gutenberg block. And instead of publishing, you set the post visibility to private. You can see your post has now been published to your site. If you now switch back over to Matt's browser and refresh the page, you can see that the private post appears here. Let's quickly check in an incognito window. Yes, the post is not visible for a random visitor. So this has been a small tour of the Friends plugin. You can find it in the WordPress plugin directory and install it from there to your WordPress site. If you take a look at the project page on GitHub, you can see some illustrations on how friend requests work. This diagram highlights the idea behind the Friends plugin as a decentralized social network. Everyone has their own site hosted where they want. All of this uses quite basic and well-established technology like RSS feeds, so except for the protocol for establishing friend requests via REST, there is not a lot missing to implement this on other platforms.